All right, folks, first full day on the ground here in Tennessee. Got up this morning, looked at the radar. There was some rain west of us. Uh, it was supposed to rain all day today, and uh, temperature dropped a bunch overnight. Uh, it's late April, and uh, it's down in the low 40s this morning. Uh, I actually went to Walmart last night to sit down and eat long johns, and let me tell you something. Walmart don't sell long johns in April, so uh, I got some pajama pants to put on. Cause I did not come prepared for this big of a temperature drop. Uh, the good news is the rain so far has not materialized. Roads are dry, everything's dry. Uh, the wind does not look horrible uh, where I'm at right now. It was supposed to be blowing 20 to 30 today. Uh, I'm not seeing any signs of that. So I loaded up the truck, headed out, uh, and decided I'm going to go put the boat in the water. We're going to fish. So I uh, stopped at a place uh, to buy some skipjack because of all the traffic, the traffic jam. On I-40 coming out here yesterday was miserable. Uh, hour and a half delay put me way behind getting here, uh, so I was not able to go catch any skipjack or additional bait. I've got some bait with me, but I uh, decided to buy some. Stopped at a place called One Last Cast in Lenore City, and uh, I'll put you a uh, link down in the description section of where these guys are at. They're right up the road from where I'm staying at. So that was real convenient, and uh, they have some frozen skipjack, and decided to buy some. I figure it is better to have some frozen skipjack than it is to have none at all. I put a little all call out on Facebook that I was looking for some bait. Uh, the uh, folks there at One Last Cast uh, messaged me back almost immediately, uh, told me they had some, and uh, got some, and I'm good to go. So uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, Hopefully we can get on some fish. Water's going to be stroking. I looked at the water report. One of the cool things out here on the Tennessee River, uh, the TVA puts out a schedule release, uh, and they're going to be stroking the water out of the Fort Loudon Dam. So everything coming into the upper it reaches of Watts Bar, where I'm going to be fishing, uh, should be moving. Should be good current. So uh, it's kind of been uh, they've kind of got the lakes under control out here. I was looking at some of the historical stuff the past week or so, and it hasn't been that bad. It's kind of been up and down on the water movement, but today there's going to be a spike in it so hopefully uh that will produce some fish we'll see i'm always excited to get up here it's like fishing new water for me uh there's so much water up here to fish it's all new to me and i'm gonna try some new places today see what we can get on to all right guys i'm not even set up yet still got a rod that ain't out got one folded over get underneath some stuff tuck off running uh, piece of skipjack out it's frozen skipjack. It's a good fish, I think. Decent fish, anyway. Set up uh, here on a little shoal. Just trying to see what's working. I'm in uh, kind of new territory to me, so figuring it out. Pretty good current. It's not crazy. A little bit of a crosswind, so I might have to figure out something here on the uh, anchor, back anchor. I was hoping to not put one out, but I'm getting crosswinded here a little bit. All right, decent little blue wrapping another line. That is why it is not flailing away. Couple lines. There we go. A little bit of a mess of lines. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm glad the skunks out of the boat. Day one. Bam. We'll take him. Ain't no monster. But it ain't no Tennessee River monster. But it's a good little fish. wind down a little bit get everything up there easy easy trigger simmer down simmer 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 you don't like that on your back fin do you there we go look at them long river fish boy they get long in the river yes tennessee river blue cat Released alive for you to catch. Let's get another one. 
All right, I think we got another one on. It's just got all the rods out. Had another one go over. Two quick bites. It makes me feel good. Matter of fact, I just repositioned this bait. This was one that was uh, kind of got pulled in with that other line. And uh, I just repositioned. Small fish. Channel cat. All right. What I need me now is a flathead, and I will have me a Watts Bar Slam. It's the channel. Good color. Water's warm, 60, 63 degrees. Even though we got, even though I got a toboggan on and a bunch of warm clothes, uh, just a cold snap that came through. Uh, all the fish know is the water temperature. They don't know the air temperature. So, it's awesome. Well guys, it's like we're dealing with uh, late winter fishing conditions more than uh, the end of the first month of spring fishing conditions. Pretty chilly today, it's in the 40s. Got some drizzle coming down now. The wind's in and out. It blows for a little bit, then dies back down. So, it is what it is. What can you do? Uh, I've got the opportunity to fish. Blessed to be able to do that, so I'm putting baits in the water. What I did was just left the first place, put a few fish in the boat there, most of them small. And uh, came down to a little underwater point. I'm gonna give this a shot for a while. We've got some baits back out. And uh, if this main river stuff doesn't work here on this spot, I'm probably gonna try popping back into some creeks and some coves and uh, just to see what that produces. There goes one right there. Good, decent bite, decent bite. Uh, top of the water. We're still looking for that one that folds over and peels drag but hey we'll take this i'm happy to catch fish man you come to a place you don't normally fish don't have much experience on the water it's fun to catch them right off the bat even if they're not monsters makes me happy at least i know the bait smells right And I'm using frozen bait. It looks like it's been taken care of whenever it was frozen because it's in good shape. Not mushy. Good fish. Little blue. Make lifting him in a little easier. My greens, I'm getting my piece of skipjack back. Stuff's too expensive for you to have it. That's wrong, wasn't it? Make all this sacrifice for my enjoyment and your view and pleasure, and I take a skipjack. This is terrible. Good looking little blue. Back a lot for you to catch. That's a good fish. That's a better fish there. Just at the pull them up and make a move mark. You get hooked up. Making a dive back down. Got a boat coming. I'm gonna milk this nice and slow for a second. Sorry about this camera fogging up. I'm gonna try to take care of it here in a second. It's uh, nature of the beast in this weather. Let this boat go by. Just play it nice and slow here. Hi right, guys, hope you're doing well. sure exactly what this is bulldogging a little bit now Ooh, nice striper let's clean my camera <laughs> make sure we get this one on film it's a good fish nice fish let see Oh. 
Got him. Very nice. Video of the slob. Get a picture of him. Good looking fish. Big male. Making a mess in the boat. Good one. Shoot. Got one going here, pulling some line. Not sure what I got on this one. Took a little bit of line, making a little run. He's making a little bit of run like a striper. Not sure what we got yet. I heard a little bit of zing zing. Of course, the drag's a little bit loose on these. It's heavy. It's wrapped, so it must be a catfish. Yes, uh, a catfish. Hit it like a freight train. Got a few lines with him. Shot of him, that was nice blue. Looking blue cat, Tennessee River. We'll take them. Tainer Blues and 20 pound stripers. Life's good. Get that one back alive.